Hey guys, Katie from the Katie Show blog here and today I just wanted to do a quick video of what I packed for my recent glamping trip because it was a little bit more rugged and you kind of like a camping trip where you have to bring everything like there's no water here, there's no electricity uh, and I know when I was packing I was kind of uh, a little bit sort of overwhelmed thinking like do I have enough stuff? Like what do I need? What do I not need? So I'm going to go through what I brought with me as well as like what I could have done without and then what I wish I had brought with me as well. So that if you're doing a camping trip soon or if you're coming glamping to this place or doing another trip similar to this, uh, hopefully you have these tips to help prepare you. And if you want any more information on any of this stuff, I also have a detailed blog post uh, with links to everything and way more information. So I'll leave that link in the description. Just go check that out and you'll have even more information to prepare you. And lastly, if you like this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me grow my channel and share these videos with even more people. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment. Like tell me what you like to bring camping or what you couldn't live without when you're on these type of trips. But for now, let's get into it. So firstly, I will say everything fits into this bag. It's my Patagonia bag. I take this bag traveling everywhere. I pretty much have exclusively used this bag for travel for a long time now. And it fits so much stuff. And what I like compared to like a regular backpack is that it's just one open section. So you can actually fit a lot more. Even though it's a backpack, it's kind of... Uh, deceiving because it seems like you can't fit much stuff in there but since it's like a big open space you can really cram a lot in there so I love this one and it's all I'll use now so the first thing I bought was this giant blanket and you're probably thinking like <laughs> number one why a big blanket and then number two how did that fit in there with all your other stuff as well so this blanket uh, was really because I'm traveling with my dog so I just wanted to have something for her to have familiar smells and she really likes this blanket so I brought this mostly for her but I spent my first night here last night and it does get really chilly overnight so I pretty much stole it from her and I was really glad I had it and how I was able to fit it in here was that I used one of these bags and I have a full tutorial on these bags uh, on my YouTube channel uh, but they're just no vacuum space saver bags so you don't need a vacuum you just shove the stuff in and then squeeze all the air out and it compacts down really small so i put the blanket in that and it just pretty much laid at the bottom of the bag really nicely now i'll just go through everything i bought uh, so there is no phone connection there's no electricity or anything like that here so for fun stuff i just brought my coloring book and pencils so that in the evenings I could just like sit and color and I also brought my Kindle so both really fairly small and light things so they're easy to pack and that's about it aside from that it was only in the evenings, so I've pretty much just done a bit of that and gone to sleep I brought a couple pairs of underwear, I bought two pairs of underwear and uh, the bra that I'm wearing so that's all I needed and I will say if you fly Emirates they always if you're on a long flight they always give out one of these and it has like you know little comfort items for the flight just toss all that out because it's not that good but keep the bags because <laughs> they come in handy for packing and like separating everything for clothes I just had one shirt and shorts the outfit I'm wearing and then I brought one spare shirt and shorts just in case I spilled something on this or you know wanted something fresh for the drive home I brought one waterproof jacket Definitely bring this because just in case it's raining and definitely leave that packed at the top because when you get here you have to walk from where your car is to where the dome is. So just in case it's raining when you get here you can quickly throw that on and don't have to dig through the bag. One pair of pajamas. I brought one like swimming dress, swimming cover up just because there's a beautiful fresh stream that goes all the way through this. So I just put my swimmers on, put the dress over the top, and uh, walk down there to go for a swim. I also bought one light dress, just like a light maxi, just in case I was like wanting to wear it during the day around here. I haven't used that, so I wouldn't bring that again. I've mostly been walking around my swimmers or just shirt and shorts. Now we did bring one pair of leggings and one long sleeve shirt, and that's been something that I just put in there thinking I wouldn't know if I would need it or not uh, but I'm really glad I bought it because it does get a little bit chilly in the evening so when I make a fire outside I can just wear that and keep comfortable and I also bought one jumper or sweatshirt and that's also been handy for the evenings as well I bought two swimsuits so one bikini that I wanted to wear and then I always have a one piece that I 
it's not my preferred one but just in case my endometriosis flares up and I'm feeling uncomfortable that just makes everything a little bit more comfortable one flashlight definitely bring this uh, because you do have to walk down there to go to the toilet and at night time it's pretty dark you don't know what animals are around or whatever and you don't want to sit in that dark uh, toilet area just sitting in the dark you know doing your business so definitely take a flashlight and these I definitely recommend these now this glamping place provides some some of those like uh, cottonelle the wet wipes that you use you know when you go to the toilet sometimes definitely bring your own but bring these ones they're called epic wipes you can buy a big box of these on Amazon and they're all like individually wrapped and they're resealable so you can, it's just like a, a really large uh, it's like a portable shower wipe but it smells amazing it's all natural eucalyptus it's biodegradable and they just freshen you up so much nicer than those wet wipes that kind of smell like it's like a toilet smell I always think of toilets when I smell that this just smells like a koala's home it's beautiful it smells amazing and they're just really good quality so I always I packed a few of those probably about four so for toiletries, you really don't need that much. I brought a face wash, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, face sunscreen, hairbrush. I brought a tinted moisturizer and like my mascara as well, but I don't really need it. So I wouldn't bring that again. I would just do the basics for hygiene and nothing for like makeup. Also in the hygiene department, I brought my pixie cup. Uh, these things, I just swear by them. I didn't know if I would need it. I probably wouldn't. But again, with endometriosis, you just never know what's going to happen. And I'd rather be prepared than not prepared. Um, if you haven't used one, I have a tutorial for menstrual cups on my uh, YouTube channel as well as on my website. you gotta, you got to make the change. You will not regret it. Okay, and lastly, I bought a trash bag because I wasn't sure if they would have like any sort of trash bins or bags here but they do have a little bin here so that was unnecessary and the last thing I brought that went in this bag was just my towel so for when I went swimming I could come back and dry off or just sunbake by the water they do have towels here though mine's more lightweight and I prefer to use it so like I'm glad I bought my towel but if you're really pressed for space you don't have to okay that's it for this section now let's get into the cooler and the outdoor stuff Right, so this is not my cooler, it's just inside the dome, but I have my little one outside. I'm not going to open this for too long, but I'll show you what other food I brought. So what do we got? We got some basil, cheese, and turkey there, that's just to make sandwiches. I pre-made a couple of, like, McMuffin type things, just, uh, I think it's just turkey meat, cheese, and egg uh, for breakfast. Some cherries, some asparagus, because I had this uh, pizza last night, I'll show you a clip of that. Chocolate, obvi. And I think those are just ice packs and like some rice crackers. And of course some uh, mommy juice. And that's about it. The only other thing I brought that I already ate was the uh, pizza base. Uh, I'll just take everything out of the bag. Be right back. Okay, so for food that's not inside the cooler, I just got bread rolls to make sandwiches. Vegemite, because Aussies don't go anywhere without Vegemite. A couple of bananas. Two protein shakes <laughs> and uh, if you struggle to digest like carbs or milk or dairy or anything get some of these I get them off Amazon I'll leave a link below but they don't like fix it but there's a big difference if I take it or if I don't take it so it really really helps me and you just take one of those before you eat and then it helps to it's just the enzymes to be able to digest that food really really helpful so this is a little outdoor area that's here at the glamping uh, the grill is here and then the fireplace is already here as well so the last thing i brought uh, was just a couple of bundles of firewood i brought two for this two nice day i probably could have just used one because uh, there was also a little bit left over from the last people um, but yeah that's the last thing and this is a really nice place to just sit cook your food and just chill out because you can just hear the running water from the stream it's very peaceful okay as for the other stuff I'm here for two nights and I brought about four gallons of water I think which seems to be just too much uh, but I'd definitely rather have too much of that than not enough Coco's bag, obviously, she's sleeping. Is that your toilet that you're sleeping on? Whatever. 
Uh, bought a life-size cardboard cutout of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's maybe unnecessary. <laughs> okay, so cooking related things. I kept it super, super simple. A couple of fire starters, a lighter, some owl foil, and a pan to cook with. Um, I'm not really sure those are meant to be in fire, but I've been putting it in fire and haven't died yet. These also were in the glamping dome when I got here, so in case you need those, I also haven't used them. But like I said, like I keep things super minimal and simple because I don't like carrying more stuff than I have to. But you could really make things you know, as elaborate or as simple as you want. And Coco's bag, so for her stuff I just brought food, puppy pads, you know, a couple of bowls to eat and uh, I bought some of these which she's never had before. And honestly, it's the least anxious she's ever been while traveling because I gave her one of these on the first day and she's just been obsessed with it ever since we got here. So that was a big win. Now, the last thing I packed was photography gear. If I wasn't a travel blogger doing this specifically to make content for a website, the only one I probably would bring would be my GoPro. And I would bring it with my shorty selfie stick, which it, it's a selfie stick that doubles as a tripod. So it's really handy if you're by yourself. Um, or the, actually I probably would bring it with this and the Gorillapod, which is what I'm using for this camera right now. So I'll get a little clip of it and show you in a second. Uh, but that's all I would take because then you have the versatility with this to be able to go swimming, take some photos and videos of the dome and things like that um, without needing to swap cameras for each thing. So that's the last thing. I hope this video has been able to help you prepare for your next outdoor camping or glamping trip. Alright, see you next time. Bye!